lips done. I'm on the way right now. First um, lip injections that I'm getting done. Um, so of course, you know, I had to vlog for y'all so y'all can see everything. Cause I know when I was looking up videos, it wasn't a lot. So I was like, let me make me a video then so we can go ahead and get this process documented and filmed. Cause I know the girls would like to know what it's like. The main goal of mine today is just because I want my bottom lip to be even with my top lip like my top lip is so much smaller than my bottom lip my bottom lip kind of like hangs over so today i just want her to kind of like balance out my lips and like get my face all together like i just want her to balance out my face and just kind of like bring bring me some life like let's you know what i mean so i'm super excited um, like I said, I'm going to this girl in Cary, North Carolina. Her name is Melissa Maria. She's a nurse practitioner. Um, I've been hearing about her a lot from uh, my clients. So I want to check her out today because I know she's really good and professional. Um, so I'm just excited to see what it's all about. Uh, and I'll let y'all know. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Yo, so I am officially pulling up. Turn right. Then the destination is on your left. I always tell people that because I'm sure they're like, that's not my lip. You're not really thinking too hard. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, I just do this up all day. Exactly, you know? that's like, why I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yeah. Looking a little crazy, but that's okay. I know, <laughs> I know. Oh, you've been doing the thing. I'm going to put a little bit more numbing mm -hmm. on your bottom because we're going to start with your top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and I want you to, off. yeah, I want you to be as numb as you can be, girl. So afterwards, achy, sore, all of that is normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take Tylenol. Don't take ibuprofen, leave aspirin, Advil. Tylenol. No, only Tylenol. Okay. okay. Go uh, ahead and take it when you get home. There's no reason to let it okay. sit in like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Um, no alcohol, no exercise for the next 48 hours. Bruising is expected as long as it's within the border, we're good. If it comes outside the border, that's when I want to know about mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. okay? Swelling, you're going to look super swollen, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually when people leave this office, they look okay to go out and poke. Like, people aren't like, whoa. Mm -hmm, until the next But time. tonight and tomorrow, girl. <laughs> So if it hurts too much with this first poke, uh -huh. let me know, uh -huh. and we'll do a dental block. Uh -huh. So this one's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit thicker all the way through. Uh -huh. This one's a little bit longer. Uh -huh. All right, so we'll start on this side. Uh -huh. Big poke. Okay. Uh -huh. I, like I just had a baby nine months ago, okay. girl. <laughs> painful than childbirth is long. Girl. So painless. Girl, no, you're just a boss. Uh -huh. I feel like this hurts. Uh -huh. Maybe I'm just a baby. She's just a trooper, and I am a child. Yeah. <laughs> I get like <laughs> tattoos, piercings. Yeah. I'm just like. Don't bother me, but this one's insane to me. Really? Yeah, I have a tattoo on my rib cage that was like nothing. Uh, the worst one mm -hmm. for me was on my neck. 
Okay, I don't have it on my neck. That's a little. Uh -huh. so, on, so here in the middle, you see how it's like a, it comes down further. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna put any in the middle because I don't want I want this side uh -huh. to come down the same height. Okay. So. Do you feel like it's easier to inject people that have bigger lips or smaller lips? Mm. I mean, it's definitely easier. For bigger or smaller? For bigger. Uh -huh. Because for smaller, you're like, well, it depends. Some people have smaller lips, but they have a pretty shape. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and some people, you know, because part of the result depends on their tissue. Uh -huh. So, like, some people have smaller lips, but... Their tissue just flips out and it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and I don't really know until I get on in there, uh -huh. <clears throat> you know, how their tissue acts. So, uh, but then when people come in with like two lines, I'm like, all right, girl, we cr got some whole work project. to do. <laughs> yeah. This is a whole project. We got some work to do. But I've seen you transform some lines into girl. some brat dolls. But I, I mean, I like those because it's mm -hmm. like, you know, it's just such a big difference. You right. Know? It shows your talent. But yeah. the other thing is that you have to, like, they have to be somebody who, I mean, it's not going to happen with their first one. Mm -hmm. And they have to know that. Mm -hmm. So it's fun as long as they come to their appointments. Mm -hmm. But if not, it's like, okay, well. Wasting your time. Yeah. Girl, now that TikTok would go viral. You should just wake up and then turn the screen. <laughs> I really He's should. Be like, oh hell no! <laughs> He's like, what are She's you gonna jump out of the? I'll be like, just wait. He's gonna be like, nah, she messed you up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, she messed you up bad. I'm like, no. She He's gonna be like, and how much you pay for that? Exactly. He's like, I could have punched you in the face exactly. for free. Exactly. I'm like, babe, just wait until the end. <laughs> You're probably going to notice tonight. Yeah, because they're going to look different. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's just going to be the worst. Most of what I'm going to do is in your top, just because mm -hmm. it just needs, mm -hmm. like, balance. Yeah. So Girl, but I'm trying to define your... That, that <clears throat> outline. Or I'm trying to make it, like, sharp, mm -hmm. like, pointier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's nothing there, that's why. I'm not I definitely come for my boost so I can build up that cupid's bow, whatever it's called. Yeah, because I'm not putting any in the middle. Because usually what I do, I put some right here mm -hmm. and nothing in the middle. So then the middle drops, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. it's my lips are weird. Right, mm -hmm. It's just holding right up. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -mm. no, nope, nothing. trying to change me. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Period. I'm just waiting for. Period. Girl, you 
I can't even talk. Oh, that's all I need. I'm just kidding. <laughs> y'all already love it. Bye. 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 I'll catch y'all. You're going to have a whole OnlyFans. Exactly. <laughs> for just my lips. <laughs> that's what you do to make it. You make Girl. an OnlyFans for your clients. <laughs> People be doing no, that. We so. wa- I watched one of my good friends. We were watching. It was like, what was it? It was on Netflix. It was like a docu series of how people made like money weird ways. Mm-hmm. This one girl, it was her feet. But the mm-hmm. home girl had a mansion. And I was telling my friend, I was like, I'll show my feet for somebody. Like, some of me and can be like, yeah, my girl can stand pictures and stuff like. I'm but like, just my feet. I mean, can you share my feet exactly. for a couple of thousand? So we can both have some money. Right. Share like, it. if I get arthritis from this, that's what my, right. I might go into. Exactly. I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I needed. It was that balance. And it's so pretty. I'm so dramatic. No. It's so funny because, like, here recently, everybody's been, like, crying. And I'm like, are you about to be crying? That's how I'm about to feel it. Because it's just like, when you don't realize that it's just, like, things that you, like, always have, that you feel like you're never going to be able to change about yourself. Yeah. More. I think it's usually, like, 50 50. Like, when I ask people, Half people say bottom, half people mm-hmm. say the top, middle, like right mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. I felt the fluid. Yeah. We gonna go on my video. They gonna let the girl talking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Because I watch videos. Well, people are going to be like, man, it must really not hurt. Uh-uh. Girl, I don't know. I feel like it hurts. I'm trying to get you going and tell, bro. Your name is around town, though. I appreciate though. it, girl. That's my client's one who told me out Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of my co-workers been in here. One of my other clients been in here. Oh, well, I'm happy. That makes mm-hmm. me happy, girl. Yeah, girl. Everybody was like, go to Melissa Maria. <laughs> I was like, I've seen that name. <laughs> Because I was going to go to Radiant Skin or something like that. I was mm-hmm. like, I don't trust them folks doing no damn lip injections on me. I need someone that know what they damn doing. <laughs> I don't trust them folks. No. Just want to let you play with. Girl, you should see some of the stuff that is you to get the lip fillers. Well, I'm sure you see out in the mm-hmm. public. Mm-hmm. So I'm not playing with this. This is my face. You can't wow. be playing. I see people. Like, I think I saw something, or was it you or somebody else that had to dissolve her fillers wow. because her lip fillers were not even on her lips. They were like girl, on her face. Girl, the the girl that I put, she was like, people were asking me after I dissolved if I um lost weight she was like it was because my filler was all That's the way up here saying. it looks like your I lips like, are girl like it's so bad like especially if you have a mole well, or something so right weird there because people don't notice it i do people or on themselves they're yeah. like who are you talking about mm-hmm. and i'm like you don't see this and they're like no it's a lot and it's not until i dissolve mm-hmm. that they're like oh because mm-hmm. if you have a mole right here there's no reason why your mole should be a part of your lip yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, look at me. <laughs> I can't wait to your boyfriend. Look at me. Bottom, but then the texture is gonna look different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When it's healing and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause see this, you see the difference between this and this. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. So I'm not gonna try to make it bigger, but just kind of fill in that space mm-hmm. so that the texture is a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So it looks like they match. Mm-hmm. Looks gruesome, folks. But I promise you, it does not <laughs> hurt that bad. <laughs> 
girl, don't tell people that because they're oh, gonna no. come in here. They, they be don't like, think. I heard it don't hurt. I guess it's better think. to say it hurts, girl, and then if it doesn't, then if it doesn't <laughs> sound that bad, and then if it does hurt, okay, at least I told then you. Yeah, Yo, I feel that. <laughs> Well, it might hurt depending yeah. on your playing tolerance. She's just a boss. Okay. No, just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All done. All done? All done. Oh, wow. 10 out of 10, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Look at my lip <laughs> at the top. I have a top lip. I can't believe I have a top lip. <laughs> I could actually. <laughs> it's something wrong with me. Yes, girl, I'm trying to make a kissy mouth, and I can't. It won't even lose. You know. OMG. And I have to go to work today. Thank oh God, God. I, can't, I get to Thank wear a mask. Right. Because nobody the will ever know. Plus of COVID. Right. The only plus of COVID. <laughs> this is Arnica gel. It's just going to help with your bruising. All right. So. Okay, y'all. So I just left. And as you can see, the difference in my lips. I freaking love them. I'm obsessed, honestly. And yeah, I don't even want them to get any smaller. I'm so like in love with them. They're so big and pretty. And my top lip is finally in proportion with my bottom lip. And I feel like it just brings so much more balance to my face. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling these results, y'all. I definitely, definitely will be back to get my boost. Hey guys, I'm doing a quick little video on my car. I'm not no YouTuber, but I just wanted to show y'all the 24 hours after um, what they look like. They're super bruised and they're super swollen, but I still love them. They look so good and pretty. I love them. Um, but yeah, they're just really bruised and I'm just interested to see what they'll look like when their swelling goes down. Um, my top lip is pretty stiff. I can't really move it that much because that's where she put most of the filler at. My bottom lip isn't as stiff. I can move it more, as you can see. So that's something to look out for just to know about before you get them done that your lips will be kind of stiff and stuff like that um, while the, the fillers are settling in. But other than that, I don't really have any problems like eating or like drinking. It does feel kind of weird to have like bigger lips because you have to kind of get used to them. But other than that, I love them. Like I said, definitely going to give y'all more updates as the days go by. Bye. Okay, guys. So today has officially been 48 hours since my procedure. And I just wanted to hop up here real quick and show y'all what they're looking like today. They're not as bruised as they were before, but definitely still swollen. But... You know, I still love them. Definitely want to, you know, keep watching on them. I just wanted to hop up here real quick and show y'all what they look like today. Um, after 48 hours. And I'll be back tomorrow to show y'all another video. Alright, y'all. So, it is day three. Um, today is a definitely a much better feeling day for me personally. Because um, I just feel like... Okay, if y'all gonna be a fucking asshole about it, then that's fine too, because I'm still gonna get in front of y'all the fuck do y'all think this is. Anyway, it's definitely a much better healing day for me because I feel like my lips are as tender and swollen as they were before, and they definitely just look better. Um, they're not as bruised, and they're not as, like, stiff. So... And then another thing that I forgot to mention, y'all, like in the other videos, was that I felt like my head, like the first day that I got them done, for me, my head was pounding so bad. So actually, I had to leave work that day because I actually threw up because my head was hurting so bad. It was just so much pressure on my head. And I don't know if that's because I didn't eat before I got my um, shots or what it was, because I don't know what it was, but before my injections, I didn't eat anything. And then, like, yesterday, I would just still felt that weird pressure in my head. Like, every now and again, I would just, like, get a headache. So, I just felt, like, a little weird. And I don't know. Like, y'all definitely let me know in the comments if 
if y'all feel the same way after y'all lip injections but yeah other than that today i definitely feel a lot better um and like i said i just wanted to show y'all what they look like they're still definitely swollen in the front but they're definitely giving more of a natural look today um because they're not so but yeah still love them definitely still don't regret getting them done i just love the way they look like of course when you do something new to yourself you always look at like pictures or like take pictures of yourself so you can see what you look like and like i've been taking my little pictures of course and i just love my side profile and like it just looks so much more girly and pretty and i just am obsessed because when i take pictures i don't have to feel like so insecure about my bottom lip being so much bigger than my top lip and i just didn't like the way it looked i just love my body look right now and it's giving it's definitely giving what it needed to have gave so yeah peace out y'all with y'all and on tomorrow's updates bye bye okay y'all so today is day four yes so i got them done on um what day was i think i got them done on a friday and today is now tuesday so it's been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. yes so day four um today is definitely um more of a better day for me too yesterday was good too but today's even better the swelling is definitely going down a lot I have more mobility of my top lip um and it just doesn't hurt and it's not as um bruised anymore as you can see they're definitely um healing really really good and i still love them my head doesn't hurt anymore i just feel a lot better like i don't feel like i just got them done anymore they still coming down i did have like some i don't know if you can see them but some larger lumps in the front um, for where the the um, fillers were settling in um because she told me that they will they will be like a little lumpy and bumpy for the first couple days into the um into the fillers like fully set in so that's kind of like what it looks like right now it's like it's still i don't know if you can see that right there that little bump like that and like really not that much at the bottom because like i said she didn't put that much but yeah it's still at the top but it's definitely i'll probably show y'all a picture um of how they look at yesterday versus today and they definitely went down so much more just from like 24 hours so yeah and then another thing that um i wanted to tell y'all too is that um just make sure that when you're like when you first wake up i feel like my lips were so much more swollen when i first wake up than when i like throughout the day like when i first wake up my lips are so swollen and that's probably because i sleep on my stomach and they you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to sleep on your back like elevated so that the swelling can go down but bitch i can't sleep like that i need to sleep on my motherfucking stomach I'm, and i feel like that like makes my lips swell up more in the morning but as soon as i kind of like wake up for a little bit and my day goes on it just like kind of go back down but yeah i've been just putting on like a lot of aquaphor and stuff like on my lips because they were so dry the first two days because you can't put anything on them because if even if you do that shit hurts so don't even try honestly because like with the open holes like from the needle the stuff will like burn a little bit so it's just better to just leave them alone for the first two days but yeah honestly today is definitely a better day i'm debating on how far i want to go with this recording process if i kind of just want to end it here or continue out and through the until the end of the um week until friday after seven days is going by so y'all can really see uh, what it looks like after a week or i might just skip and fast forward into two weeks after this video um i don't know yet but yeah i just want to hop up here real quick and show y'all did my hair a little bit you know what i'm saying i had to get in the get in the void i had to get in the void hey y'all i just wanted to hop up here real quick i was supposed to be making a video every week since i had gotten them done but life happens and i just completely like just got distracted and i just happened to look at my calendar and i realized that it had been seven weeks going on eight weeks so eight weeks is at the point where you can come back in with my um girl and get a touch up and a boost so that they can look a little bit more so they can look a little bit less more like they were before so i think i'm gonna go back and get a little boost but of course you can still see um that i got them done um but i do kind of want to go back in and get them filled in just a little bit more so i can have a little bit more of a pout for my side profile um 
but nothing too too crazy i love how they ended up healing they look super natural um a lot of people ask me if they even dissolve them like no they still there but you can't really tell unless you look at a before and after picture because she did such a good job of keeping my lips looking natural and not overdone. So that's why I trust her when I go back because honestly, my mom still hasn't noticed that I got them done. I didn't tell her and I just wanted to see if she would notice and she hasn't yet to say anything. And like I said, it's been eight weeks. So I don't know if she just don't pay attention to me like that, but normally she does and she's always on it. So I don't know, maybe she just did a really good job keeping them nice and natural. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back and get my boost done, but this is gonna conclude my video i'm so glad happy of everybody who's continued to watch through the end so y'all can see what it looks like after eight weeks it's still there but it's just not as big as they were before so like i said i'm gonna go back and i'll keep y'all updated with my process bye thank you for watching